Welcome to Electron Line. Here's our next example of how to find the equivalent inductance of an inductance circuit. This is kind of a special circuit. Notice that all the inductors have the exact same value L, but there's a reason why we chose this as an example because here we have three inductors in series and there we have three inductors in parallel. We already know the trick when we have two inductors in parallel. Simply the equivalent inductance of two inductances in parallel is simply half the inductance of either one of them, if they're the same value, of course. And in the case when there's three of them, the equivalent inductance is one-third L in this case. So let's go ahead and try to solve this circuit. So we can see here that we can add these three together because they're in series on a single branch. And we simply add those together. And then for these three, when we add those three together, we can use the rule as follows. And let me just show you what it looks like. You can say that one over L total equals one over L1 plus one over L2 plus one over L3. Just want to show you that this will end up being one third L. So since they're all the same, L1, L2, and L3, we can then say that one over L total is equal to one over L plus 1 over L plus 1 over L, Oop, not 4, L. But notice there's three of them right here, so these are the three in parallel. That means that 1 over L total equals 3 over L. And then taking the inverse, we can say L total equals L over 3. That's where we have that trick, it's 1 third. Of course, if there's 4 in parallel, it would be 1 fourth. If there's 5 in parallel, all the same value, it would be 1 fifth, the value of any one of them. Drawing the equivalent circuit, we'll now make this look as follows. We're going to retain these two inductors right here. They are unchanged, and the one down here. But these three in series will now combine into a single inductor, and that inductance will be now 3L, because it's in series, we add them up. And here, these three combined will be one-third of an L as the equivalent inductance, one-third L. Now the next task is to combine these two. Again, we work from the end and work towards the connection here to the circuit. And so now we're going to combine these two together. They are in parallel, so we use the product over the sum rule because there's only two of them. So for those two, we can say that L total is equal to the product 3L times 1 third L divided by the sum 3L plus a third L. So in the numerator, 3 times 1 third is 1. We get L squared divided by the denominator. 3 plus a third, that would be 10 thirds L. This L cancels out that L. When you divide by a fraction, the same as multiplied by the inverse, which means L total equals 3 tenths L for the equivalent of these two inductors. So now when we redraw the circuit, we get the following equivalent circuit. We still have that inductor drawn like that, All right? So this is L, this is L, and this is now 3 tenths L for that equivalent inductor. And then, of course, you can see that these three are now in series. We can simply add them together to form a single inductor. The original circuit is the equivalent. When we add them together, L plus L plus 3 tenths of an L, that would be 2 and 3 tenths L, or we could simply write it as 23 over 10 L, whichever you prefer. Or we could simply say this is equal to 2.3 L. There we go. And that's equivalent inductance of our original circuit. Again, we chose this particular one, so you can see that when you have three in series, you simply add them together. When you have three in parallel, they're all the same value. The equivalent of three in parallel is simply one third the inductance of any one of them. And that's how it's done.